Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, here to show you how to wire RGB fans to your PC in a really straightforward way. You can connect loads of different fans to your system with this trick I'm going to show you. It is a simple tool which is worth buying as an additional purchase. Now, if you have RGB fans with two cables on them, and I'm using Montec fans as a demonstration here, generally speaking, you'll have a fan power cable and an RGB connection. The RGB one has a three pin connector on it, which you can see on the right hand side here. And that plugs into an RGB header on your motherboard, which is the five volt RGB header. And you'll usually find it marked in various different ways, such as ARGB V2 or something similar. This one's add gen two, for example, but you can see it's got three pins and it's clearly marked five volt. The other cable is a power cable, which will plug into the system fan header or chassis fan header on your motherboard. And you should find multiples of these spread around the motherboard in different positions, often at the bottom. So you'll see a couple down here, for example. Now that's the standard logic for how you'd wire these fans in basically. And if you end up with loads of fans, you'll soon find that you don't have very many of the RGB headers left on your motherboard to be able to deal with them. This is the solution, a Thermalright ARGB and fan hub. This controls eight fans so you can plug in eight fans for rgb and fan power to this controller now this is obviously an additional purchase it's a fairly affordable one though and it will make your life a lot easier because the fans can all be plugged into this and then the control box itself just simply connects your power supply unit and to your motherboard you'll notice at one end it has a fan connector and an RGB connector, and it comes with those two cables included in the box. Then on both sides, you have ports on there for plugging in your fans and your lighting from each fan. So the two cables for each fan, you can connect up to eight fans on this thing. Now, obviously if you have more than eight, you could buy two of these and that will help with that solution. But if you've got eight fans, this will make life really easy. So the ARGB input cable that comes with the controller plugs in at the end there alongside the PWM input, which as I've showed you already, will plug into the five volt header on your motherboard and then the system fan header or chassis fan headers on your motherboard. So two cables plug into the motherboard and then there's another one you need from your power supply unit, which is the SATA power cable. This is the same cable that you use to plug in your hard disk drives and SSDs. It's daisy chainable so you can connect multiple things to it you plug one end into your power supply and then you have multiple other L-shaped connectors that you plug into other devices. Now this will be used to power the controller because obviously you need to power the fans and to power eight fans, both RGB and the speed, you need to make sure that it's got enough power and it won't be able to do that from just the motherboard connections alone. So you need to plug in the SATA power to the other end of the controller as you can see here. I'm showing you all of this outside of the case, by the way. Obviously, you'd do this when it's actually fully built. I want to show you the steps for it so it's really clear. So you've got those multiple connections into this controller, and then you plug in your fans to it as well. The RGB goes into the ports marked L, and then a number, and then the fan power ones go into the F ports. So you've got power and RGB for each of these. Now the connections to the motherboard then mean that you can control the RGB lighting with your motherboard software. So MSI Mystic Light, Azusa's Armory Crate, or whatever else you want to use the RGB lighting controls on. And then if you go into the BIOS, as I'll show you in a second, so it's a PWM mode, you can then control the fan speed via your BIOS settings or via your motherboard software. So you can adjust the fan speed across all the fans with that software. So in the BIOS, you want to look for hardware monitor or fan controls in there. This is MSI's BIOS in there. What you want to do is find the system fan header that you used, so the one that you plugged the controller into, and then make sure you set it to PWM mode, and this will ensure that it's got control over the fan speed in the system, and you can then set in the BIOS to adjust the fan speed for that particular header, which will then obviously adjust the fans. Now it will adjust all the fans on the controller, so you'll be controlling all of them at once rather than each individually. But then you can obviously go into your Windows as well and you can adjust the fan in there if you want to using your motherboard software, so you can tweak it in there. And then your RGB lighting can, can be controlled like that too. Obviously there's a lot of different software out there, so I can't show you all of them. But that's the basic wiring for the fans and hopefully you found it useful. If you did, check out the links in the description to find out more. And I've also done a much more in-depth video on this if you want more information as well. So I'll link that down below too. Thanks for watching. 
You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend, you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.